Bruce and Alex, I'm now here with manager Andy Pinks. Andy, not the most vintage performance, but you know, it's winning situations like these. It's, it's the mark of a good team. It's a good habit to have. I thought it was really workmanlike. Um, some more attrition out there today, really. Uh, pitch very, very heavy and bobbly and quite a strong win. So it was never going to be easy. Uh, plus, Stalbridge on a really good run themselves. Anyone who knows, you know, they were second in the form table behind us. Um, watched them in the week, big, strong, physical, two very good strikers. Um, so I knew it would be tough, I knew we'd have to really battle hard, uh, but so I'd like to come out on the side, right side of the 2 0. You made one change to the side today with Connor Furlon coming in for Ravi Shamsi. No Ravi in the squad today, what's the situation with him? Yeah, he hurt his knee the other night of training, so we're going to see how it snaps down. He's going to have it looked at, so not great. Uh, but gave an opportunity to Connor, who I thought done really well, but yeah, hopefully Ravi won't be too bad. First half was a bit of a stalemate in truth, a couple of chances, and obviously we had our nearly moments, but was it uh, quite well? Get on first half, should we say? Yeah, no, it wasn't a great game to watch. I was delighted at first half at the end of it because I felt we contained them quite well. They've got a really strong wind in their favour, um, and we'd matched them first and second balls uh, all over the pitch, and we haven't given anything cheap. Uh, we defended their set piece as well. So the message at half time really was can we be better when we get the chances with the ball? And they switched on, and you know, don't make the mistake. I thought it would come down to mistakes possibly, um, and it'd be a tight game. And that's exactly what it was, but I thought we stuck at it really well. We've been presented all of our chances in recent weeks, and it's certainly proved to get today. First real chance of Pad obviously came from the free kick. Great header for the Hallings. I mean, we know what threat he can be, and he's proved it yet again. Yeah, no, great. I mean, he's set pieces again. He keeps saying it, we're working them all the time. Uh, they're vital, they've been great for us this year. Uh, and equally, we're just important, we defended ours theirs really well today, which again, they've got some big lads in there, some good you know, good height, good strength. Um, for Collard and Bully to be the fair, absolutely immense today, um, as were most of the lads. But no, it was never going to be a classic, um, and it's a sort you don't want to get beaten, you know. The longer it had gone on, I thought, you know, point's a point, we've had some good results at the moment, but you always look to 
you know, those you can get a goal. Um, and then I thought the second goal was a great finish. On you, mentioned the, you mentioned the second goal, so it always gives you that bit of a cushion, and it was great work for me for Tampa Tiles to be mistaken. You know what the post player he is, and it was a really good finish, slightly past the keeper for 2 0. Yeah, it's a great finish. Um, so he picks the ball up in good areas. So he, he, he's playing a little bit in a position which in some teams would be a luxury, like as a 10, just behind the side. But that's not it. that's not how I play. So he has to do all the horrible stuff as well the working back, the tracking back, giving us a good shape, starting deeper, and then supporting. And he's done that, he's got better and better as it's gone on. Um, and I thought it took his goal really well. I was delighted for that. And so they're a, they're a good team. Stelge will beat, you know, they're doing well in the trophy. I know they're two gaffers really well, ex players. Both good guys, um, they've got a good team, they'll, they'll definitely take points off other teams. It's a result that doesn't quite let us into those playoffs. Um, Al Kirch are just ahead of us on goal difference, but the fact that you know, we're only missing out on goal difference shows how far we've come over these last few months. Yeah, I don't think anyone can deny that. We've been fantastic. You know, the first six, eight games will be tough, which I've said. The squad's got better and better. Uh, the mentality, the work rate, the desire, the togetherness, you know, it's fantastic. You know, it's given us some good results, and you need to have that to pick results up, and that's what we've got. And you know, we've got now a week's training ready for another real tough one at Russell next week. But I keep saying every game's tough. Every game is massive. If we want to get to where we go, we've got to pick a certain amount of points up. Um, and the last three weeks, you know, they came back from Banbury, which they were disappointed. I thought they'd give a good account of themselves, deserve some, but didn't get it. And I said, good teams find a way, which Banbury did another one on that day. Um, and we've done it since, you know, three wins out of three after that. What a bounce back. It speaks loads for the boys in the change. You mentioned the Russell game. That's going to be another big one in the context of the playoffs. Obviously, they're a very strong team in fourth place. They won again today quite convincingly. So that's going to be a tough test. Yeah, they're all, they're all tough. Like I said, got respect on their Astro. It's going to be tough for us there, but it's another great game for us to have. You can much sooner be up that end of the league fighting for points than down the bottom scrapping for points. Yeah, these points are brilliant and we'll go next week and give it our best shot. Just finally for me, there was obviously the news that Ben Garwood has signed dual registration terms with Cody Town. What more can you tell us about that news? No, he's been training with us, he's been in and out of the squad, um, he got injured early in the season, Paddy's made the right back slot his own at the moment, uh, Ben will go there, he's down the road, he'll get some minutes, um, it's a dual reg, he's available as and when we want him back, and I've just said to the boys in there, the one's not playing, you, you Jones, it's you Hughes, it's, you know, you, it's Lynn, it's, um, you, you, all of the boys really in and around the squad, it, we're going to need them all, you know, we've still got 13 massive games and we ain't going to keep the same 11, so however they can get fitness, keep levels high, it's important for us. Absolutely. Well, on today, BC. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. Watching AFC RB TV, and here at Aiden Road, it finishes AFC Rush to Diamonds 2, Stalbridge 0. The man of the match, Alex Gallard, AC. Good result today for Diamonds. Yeah, fantastic goal, isn't it? Yeah, sure. The first half, though, maybe a little scrappy. Yeah, um, yeah it wasn't was the best condition. To be honest. You know, it really paid a part, but we just said it's getting at 0 0 half time, second half going up there. Uh, Going up the hill, you know, we always do well. So. Did Pixie uh, give uh, the team uh, enthusiastic pep talk at yeah, halftime? He always does, but to be honest, we don't need it. The boys are so motivated, you know, absolutely flying. The only motivation we need is to get three points. And uh, it was the perfect start to the second half where uh, you got the goal in the 47th minute. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we, we always know we're going to be good sort of set pieces and recycling the ball. We work a lot in training with Biff um, with set pieces and stuff. But, you know, it was always just recycle the ball, keep it alive, and yeah, it's always nice to have a score sheet. You had a nice uh, tap in a, uh, on a header, in fact, so a 1-0 lead there. Stayed that way until the 66th minute with a moment of brilliance again by Nathan Chaguna. I've done so, yeah. Club for Sneds, you know, clean sheet, but for the whole back, you know, my partners, William State Bully again, you know, Paddy Wolves, you yeah. know, fantastic. I don't want to rub it in to the glass boys, but I, I thought Stalbridge uh, lost their composure maybe in the last five, ten minutes of the game. Uh, yeah, a little bit, especially with the conditions though, it's so difficult, you know. You can't blame them for doing what they did, they tried to go a little bit more direct. I think in this league, most teams do. You know, you do get joy, they got some really good players. You know, you can't fault them for doing it. Sure. 
well, we're well into the second half of the season now, and uh, I, I'm not sure if Diamonds or anyone, for that matter, can catch Bandra United in first place. But uh, Diamonds definitely in the playoff mix. Now. What are your thoughts about that? Absolutely. You know, it, it's a season. It's been a funny season. You know, it didn't start so well, but for the first couple of months, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 The sky's the limit for the boys. Really. You know, the time, the time we sit back and we settle for a position is the time it all goes to pot. So for us, one game at a time. You know, we move on again three points in the next game and that's all that matters. One game at a time and the next game is uh, at Rush Hall Olympic. That'll be a test challenge. Yeah, absolutely. There's another team though that are uh, doing really well in and around us. Um, but we've proven, you know, a team in form come here today with some great players. You know, we mix it with them and, and you know, we do a job. All right. Well, great result today, Alex. Thank you for your time. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. I don't need love.